Morning, guys. Oh, just got done our milk run for the morning. Pulled some milk. And uh, now we need to make our way down to the uh, sheep and pig areas. They are getting pretty low on food. And uh, the sheep are, or the pigs are getting a little low on water. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of both uh, the sheep and the pigs this morning. Get them taken care of so that uh, they're on the same feeding cycle since they're in the same general area of the of the valley here and uh, like I said we dropped a uh, we bought a small Massey Ferguson 5600 uh, series tractor for down here it's got uh, front loader arms and a uh, bale fork and we've got a small Brantner trailer down here and the uh, a rear weight uh, for the tractor and uh, that's just going to live down here it's going to be a little little small yard tractor for uh, these two uh, animal areas and uh, it will service nicely I believe uh, of course we've got our water tank here we're going to be transporting our water around uh, that's no big deal because we've got to drive down here anyway to uh, our our tractors and such Put them in the uh, shed there. Closure. Store them overnight. Put our water in. See, we've got our straw stored up over there. Okay. Just enough water. Uh, let's park this here. over here and uh, <clears throat> get our tractor. So here's our little tractor, a little Massey Ferguson with uh, forks and uh, bale fork, arms and a bale fork, and our red Brantler trailer Go with a nice little red theme. She's a 5613 series. Go ahead and get some lights on in here. And let's go ahead and check. Uh, eggs are good on straw, but the sheep need their hay. So let's go ahead and get the hay down to them. And we're also going to... Uh, Think about uh, pulling all the potatoes out of our storage building and uh, taking our storage building down because I don't need it. Board. Remember, we got to be kind of back up here. Until we uh, to get some of these bales away, we're going to need to be kind of careful with our mouse clicking. Got the uh, remote control door controls on, and if we're not careful, we could end up. Uh, well, we could end up locking ourselves in or getting pinched. Uh, by the doors, which is a bad thing. Let's feed our sheep here. Got them water yesterday. Let's go ahead and check and make sure that they're good. Yep. They're good. Shut up our doors here. Saw them shut. So we're going to have to get them before we go. Now we will uh, 
tend to our piggies. Wiggly wigglies. Back on up here. So, pigs are going to need uh, crops. Let's go ahead and fill this trailer up with uh, potatoes. Actually, if we get rid of our building, we're going to have to uh, buy a bucket. I have a bucket quite yet. Need too many potatoes. It's more than enough potatoes. For our pigs, and they're only going to use a uh, couple hundred potatoes. Got some junk around here we gotta clean up at some point. An old bulldozer, an old uh, seed tender, it looks like. Probably enough. And we're going to need to cart some wheat over here. Decided to go with wheat because when we looked at our price overlay, it looked like barley was selling for more than wheat. Now, right now, wheat is at a very good price. So, but uh, as you can see, the average wheat price was three forty-nine. The average barley price was three fifty-two. So while it's not overly uh, huge of a difference, it was higher. So we decided we would just use the wheat. Looking at this, I think we might uh, might sell a couple loads of wheat. Okay. Just to take advantage of that great price. Alright. I don't need to get to that, I don't think. Hold on, we use less canola than grain. There. And we're going to come back and top off the um, corn. Because we might as well, while we're down here, top that off. Remember, we, we started, we fed our pigs. Well, we did that off camera. Oops. We did that off camera, but we fed our pigs everything but corn. Uh, the day we bought the pigs. Uh, and then we came back next day, once we started harvesting our cornfield. And gave them a load of corn. So technically they have <clears throat> an extra day of corn, an extra day of time on their corn than they do the rest. Uh, but for the sake of efficiencies, we're going to uh, top everything off. Should be more than enough corn. And I think it might be 
don't know which is easier, driving around here or uh, going in that gate. Now, popped off our pigs and our sheep. Uh, everybody is good to go over here. Like I said, I think we're going to... Uh, I was going to boil seed radish today. I think we'll still get that done. I'm going to hire a, a helper to do that while we go and uh, sell up some wheat. Just a couple loads of wheat. Go ahead and put this back. The reason I was thinking about putting the, uh, getting rid of the root crop building is that uh, on the new version of the map that we're playing here, uh, that will be released soon. In fact, it may be released by the time this video airs. The, uh, collision the tip collision on uh, on this building here has been fixed and we can now tip our potatoes in here and store them this way that's what I wanted to do earlier but uh, ran into issues where I couldn't uh, wouldn't let me tip into uh, that area so we had to correct the building here So we're going to run back to the arable farm now and get a worker going on um, basically the barley field. I was going to put oilseed radish in, but now I'm thinking we're only going to put oilseed radish on the fields that are that have a hill to them for the sake of erosion control. So we're going to go down here and we're going to pick up our tractor and cultivator slash cedar. I'm going to run it over to field 28. It's over by the shop and uh, we're going to get them started on that field and then we're going to come back here and pick up our Massey Ferguson which is still uh, over here connected to the tipper. <clears throat> And we're going to sell a couple loads of bar or wheat to take our wheat to the high grains sell point. check. We've got 26 hours until we need to maintenance on our tractor here. I'd hit the right follow me button. Reason I thought it was R. Clearly it's not R, it's F. Trying to trying to bring them down here. Alright, so we are back over here at the arable farm. So we've got our helper working over on field twenty eight. Uh, we're going to see how much grain we can get carted over to high grains um, in order to uh, make a little money. I'm going to go ahead and can't back on in here. Well, this person backing.
spell. Apparently we were too far over. going to high green okay let's see if we have a uh, quick way over there I guess quick way over there is to go up by the shop go ahead and uh, it's uh, in put manual cover on see how many loads of wheat we can transport before they go and uh, tank the price on us. I'm still not sure what the capacity is of our manure bit there. I don't know if it's just telling us that we've got 80,000 because it thinks that's a big number or if it's uh, close to a uh, threshold. I mean, it shows us when we have animals over 100 animals and that's not like it's a, really a threshold or anything. It just uh, decides that it wants to show us animals when they're over 100. So maybe it shows us manure when we're over uh, 70,000 or something. I don't know. Alright, see our uh, see our worker there making some headway. Yeah, we keep an eye on her. Yeah, run around here. Is an advantage of being right here by the shop. Expect to. Uh, Oil seed radish cultivator there is that uh, we're close to uh, it would get more seed if we need to and I'm going to be looking off camera at the uh, really going to look at the daily maintenance on the mowing equipment uh, figuring that uh, we're going to have 48 game days of maintenance on that equipment where we are not uh, for a scale here we're have 48 days of maintenance where we're not using that stuff and figure out what it's costing us in daily maintenance and then figure out what it's going to what we're going to lose with respect to selling it selling that stuff back and uh, basically, if we spend more in daily maintenance than we will lose, then uh, we're going to sell it. If we uh, lose more than we're going to save with respect to our daily maintenance, then we're going to save it. So it's just going to be a little bit of a math, um, a math calculation or math decision, really. Uh, to figure out what we're going to do. Right, so that load was $8,100. Bad little load. Wheat price has already dropped a little bit. It's still four ninety six. dollars It's still a pretty good price. Probably take one more load over. Just sell uh, 32,000 liters. Of wheat ideally a great demand of uh, on wheat with a really good price would uh, be ideal because the prices don't drop with great demands but uh, you take advantage of the pricing that you got when you can another option would have been to uh, temporary borrow a larger trailer What's that 
But, uh, but this will work. This will get us about 16,000 more dollars. We're earning about $4,000 a day in milk. That's a nice uh, steady little income to offset our running costs and pad our bank a little bit. Big expenses that we've got coming up in spring are going to be a cedar and seed, obviously, uh, for our planting season. <clears throat> got rid of our cedars last spring uh, when we were done with them. So, need to pick a cedar up. I've got one in mind already. That will, uh, it's a little wider than the other ones. So we'll be able to see it a little bit quicker. A little bit more efficiently as far as uh, time. Won't seed so quick that uh, we'll be days with nothing to do. Oh, now I can see the fill. I didn't see the fill pipe from the other angle. Oh. Take another load on over there. Now, I was looking at that price overlay, and it's uh, prices are re the price is rebounding. It's already up to four ninety nine. <clears throat> so if it keeps rebounding like that, uh, we might might cart some more over here. Well, it's best to earn money while you can. Cultivator is doing pretty good. It's at 64% uh, of the seed. It's not too bad. Uh, we're up to 102 pigs now. Yesterday we were 101. Our cultivator right there, making her way down around the field or around the uh, the bend on that uh, on that road. <clears throat> Price is rebounding. Might. Uh, sure come around here really good job so far coverage price is going to continue to bound up like that then I might just sit around here and just uh, see her go around see her come by and then we'll go and uh, uh, unload that trike or that cart Well, they must have switched off uh, while we were gone, because uh, definitely a dude. Really good. He's doing a really great job. 
Really great job. All right. Head in. See if we can't get another couple loads sold here tonight. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, encourage you to go check the guys in the in my signature. They all do really awesome content and uh, are all members of the Three Dudes Media Network. Uh, do live streams of uh, the Three Dudes Multiplayer server on Saturday nights. So, as of the recording of this video, we're currently on the West Coast map. Uh, <clears throat> it's an open multiplayer server for any Three Dudes Media member or Three Dudes uh, Community member. Uh, the media members often will stream. The uh, they will often stream on uh, on the server, but uh, it's open to any community member that should wish to play. The uh, link to Three Dudes is in the description also. And then also I want you to check out PCSG. Uh, they are another wonderful web community as they have an open uh, community multiplayer server also. And uh, they are currently on um, Orchard Springs, I believe. So look for a uh, an, an English map, uh, check out Three Dudes. And all you need to do to play on their server is join the Three Dudes media or Three Dudes website, and uh, there is a post on how to uh, connect up to that server and the link to download the mods. And if you want to play on an American style uh, multiplayer server with adults that are um, serious about playing, they're not going to be you know they don't get on. There's no trolling permitted, let's say, on those servers. And uh, any inappropriate behavior will be taken care of quite abruptly. Uh, but uh, if you want to play on an American style map, then the PCSG open server might be something for you to check out. Like I said, as of the recording of this video, they are on um, Orchards or uh, Oregon Springs. So if you like this video, please consider clicking that like. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. No big deal. So, no skin off my back. Uh, if you don't like the video, want to click this like, it's cool with me too. Um, just thanks for coming around and uh, and trying out the content. Uh, if you want additional notifications of new content when it's posted, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, right now, the production schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're doing uh, play series on churn farms on that for a couple months now and uh, we will do videos um, through the end of the first year I'm currently thinking about continuing to play on this map uh, kind of more in a in a uh, private save fashion uh, but I might uh, occasionally bring a video or two in post year one uh, simply to continue the story will um, but we are close to uh, really trying to find another map uh, to find another uh, adventure to go on and uh, right now I'm thinking about a more American based uh, map we've done a uh, English map here with churn farms you know about getting back to the back to the American based maps on Seriously, I'm, I might as well just stop trying to back up like this, because I'm missing it. There we go. Let's check. Bad of a price. <laughs> so I'm thinking about moving over to an American-based map after this series um, is over. And I'm thinking about doing it in uh, with a shorter season. Uh, maybe 15 day season length as opposed to 24 uh, and that's not because I thought 24 was too long 
or anything. I just want to throw a little bit of variety in. Um, you know, people that are doing seasons online are doing, you know, typically six day, sometimes three day. Uh, of course, we did our 24 day. The default is nine days. So I just thought I'd inject a different length in just for the heck of it. And with 15 day seasons, that's basically five days per transition. Uh, as opposed to eight in a 24 day season. So for me, five just seemed like a pretty good number to, uh, to use. So that's what we're going to do. So 91, 493. It's going to be the last load that we take over there. Uh, simply because price is starting to drop a little bit lower than I really want to, uh, to be messing with. Our cultivator down to 30%, so they're going to need to be taken care of here soon anyway. And it's uh, <clears throat> 6 o'clock, so they're going to start charging me overtime if I keep them on the clock. But once we, uh, once we tip this, sell this grain, we're going to go ahead and relieve our worker there. Uh, but I'm going to let you all go here at this point. Like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, really do appreciate comments, so please feel free to comment uh, what you thought of the video. If there's any ideas you have for future videos, let me know. And until next time, guys, happy farming.